Hey, welcome back everyone. We just finished learning about various types of cloud models, public, private, and hybrid. In this module, we're gonna learn about types of cloud services, which include IaaS, PaaS, and SaaS. My name is Sushant Sudish, and I am your instructor for this AZ900 exam series. In this module, we're gonna talk about the shared responsibility model. We're gonna review what is IS, PaaS, and SaaS, and we're gonna decide which cloud service is best for you. The importance of understanding the shared responsibility model is essential for customers who are moving to the cloud. The shared responsibility model ensures cloud workloads are run securely and in a well-managed way. Depending on the service you are using, a cloud provider is responsible for some aspects of the workload management and customer or end user is responsible for other aspects of the workload management. In some areas, both share a responsibility. IaaS requires the most user management of all cloud services. The user is responsible for ma managing the operating system, data, and applications. PaaS requires less user management. The cloud provider manages the operating system and the user is responsible for application and data they run and store. Wherein SaaS requires the least amount of management. The cloud provider is responsible for managing everything and end user just uses the software. It is very important that cloud users understand what they're responsible for to ensure their workloads are managed correctly and don't suffer any downtime. Let's understand a bit more detail about infrastructure as a service. IaaS is the most basic category of cloud computing services. With IaaS, you rent IT hardware, which includes virtual machines, storage, networks, operating system from a different cloud provider. And the pricing model is a pay-as-you-go model. It's an instant computing infrastructure provisioned and managed over the internet. So some of the benefits of IaaS include, IaaS has no upfront cost, users pay only for what they consume, and the user is responsible for purchase, installation, configuration, management of their own software, operating system, middleware, and applications. And the cloud provider is responsible for ensuring that the underlying cloud infrastructure, such as virtual machines, storage, networking, is available for the users. Some of the most common usage scenarios include migrating workload to IaaS, test and development, website hosting, storage backup and recovery, etc. Let's understand PaaS or Platform as a Service in detail. PaaS provides an environment for building, testing, and deploying software applications. The goal of PaaS is to help create an application as quickly as possible without having to worry about managing the underlying infrastructure. For example, when deploying a web application using PaaS, you don't have to install an operating system, web server, or even software updates. PaaS is a complete development and deployment environment in the cloud. Some of the common usage scenarios for PaaS include development framework, analytics, or business intelligence. So what about SaaS? Software as a service is software that is centrally hosted and managed for the end customer. It allows users to connect to and use cloud-based apps over the internet. Common examples are emails, calendars, and office tools such as Microsoft Office 365. SaaS is typically licensed through a monthly or annual subscription, and Office 365 is a best example of SaaS software. There are both advantages and disadvantages for IaaS, PaaS, and SaaS cloud services. So let's try to compare these types of cloud services. IaaS is the most flexible category of cloud services. It aims you to give you a complete control over your hardware that runs your application. So instead of buying hardware with IaaS, you rent it. One of the common disadvantage of IaaS is the management because the shared responsibility model applies here. 
the user manages and maintains the services they are provisioned, and the cloud provider manages and maintains the cloud infrastructure. Where in PaaS, PaaS provides same benefits and considerations as IaaS, but there are some additional benefits. In PaaS, users can focus on application development only as all platform management is handled by a cloud provider. Working with distributed teams as services is easier as platform is accessed over the internet and can be made available more easily. One of the disadvantages of PaaS include platform limitations. There may be some limitations to a cloud platform that could affect how an application run. SaaS is a software that is centrally hosted and managed for the end customer. It is usually based on an architecture where one version of their application is used for all customers and licensed through a monthly or annual subscription. Some of the advantages of SaaS include no CapEx model, uh, it's built for agility, it's a pay-as-you-go pricing model, flexibility, etc. The main disadvantage of SaaS is software limitations. There may be some limitations to software application that might affect how the user work. So in this module, we have gone through the shared responsibility model. We learned about IaaS, PaaS, and SaaS. And now we can decide which cloud service is best for you or your customer. In the next module, we're gonna go through the review questions for what we have learned so far. So this is the best way you can validate your knowledge on all the learnings you have done. So I will see you on the next video. Till then, take care.